I wish that I had seen this video when grinding for it because it would have made everything a whole lot easier. You might have not realized this about Mining Simulator 2, but there are actually multiple worlds in this game. The first one is the overworld, and the second one is the cyber galaxy, which you can get from unlocking the 1 million land, then heading to space travel, and then unlocking the cyber galaxy by getting a better spaceship and upgrading it. To unlock your spaceship, you need 2 billion coins, 5 alarm and R, 10 chromite, 40 fire shards, and 40 mithra. So how do you get all of those fast? I mean, that sounds like a lot of grind. Let me tell you, for me, it was. It, I wish that I had seen this video when grinding for it because it would have made everything a whole lot easier. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is head over to the Crystal Cavern. Now the Crystal Cavern is going to be the world that you need to do this in and also also, it's really good to start grinding for all of these rocks that you need before you even unlock the 1 million land. That way you'll be ready when it's time, or at least closer to ready. The next thing that you need to do is look around the top land. If you're in a private server, this will be especially easy, but on the walls, you'll notice that there are just some of the rocks that you actually need for it, like Mithril, just hanging around, even some fire shards which are a little bit rarer. Now, after you actually get these rocks, you might be thinking, wait a minute, I have these rocks, but what if I click sell because my backpack's full? It'll sell all of those rocks too. All you have to do is click items, then click ores, and then you'll find everything that you have in your inventory that's taking up your space. What you're going to need to do now is click on the items that you want to keep, like the mithril, the fire shards, the chromite, any of the blocks that you have right now that you're going to need for the rocket ship. You're going to have to click on those and then click lock. After you do that, there should be a lock icon next to it so that when you try to sell it, it will only sell the items that aren't locked. That way, you can keep the items that you need and continue grinding. The second thing is, how do I actually find all of them? I mean, the mithril and fire shards are kind of easy because they're all the way above the surface and you can just mine them whenever you want. But what about all of the other rocks that are much rarer? Well, my recommendation is to just start mining down. If you have a good pickaxe or just a good item for mining, then there shouldn't be much of a problem. But if you aren't, then maybe you can ask a friend that is way better and has better mining tools that can help you mine down and then just let you take the ores. For example, just mining down, I'm finding even more of these rocks. Now, here's the next thing that I think that you should do if you're trying to find all of these items is look for a cave. If you mine in the same hole down deep enough, eventually you'll find one of these caves that are made up of all of this just bunch of tunnels. And there are a bunch of chests here and a lot of rocks that you're going to need. For example, look at how much of this chromite I just found. They're literally all just lying around right now for me to go grab. Plus, there's even chests. That you can just collect as you can see there are a bunch of valuable ores in this mine there are some mines that even have a lot of larminar and whatever other blocks that you might need using this method of mining down and trying to find one of these mines was very helpful for me because i was able to find over 12 chromite already and there's still more in the mine plus i'm sure that with all of these fire shards that won't be a problem either so that checks a lot of different things off your list I think that'll wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to go smash that subscribe button and slap the bell. Don't miss out on any of those new videos. But anyway, guys, I will be seeing you all next time. Bye!